Hey guys, this is Kevin Potter at Potter USA, and today I'm going to show you how to make a wedding band, but we're going to do it solid, okay? Similar to how I showed you how to do this dragon, solid. I know a lot of times people think stampings are hollow, and of course they are. That's one of the beauties of a stamping. It can be very lightweight. That way it can be very inexpensive to create. But you also end up with sort of a uh, flimsy, cheap looking item. It's not what you're trying to shoot for when you're making a nice piece of jewelry. What I'm gonna do, start in here with a piece of sterling silver. I have taken my dividers and measured out my width. Come over to your sheet of metal and you just scribe a line. Now if you've got a big shear, you can chop that off, or if you've got a little mini bandsaw, cut it off that way, or if you don't have any of those things, you're going to saw it. This has to be annealed. This has to be dead soft. When you go to press this into this die, you're going to press solid. I mean, no, nobody wants a hollow ring shank. That's just cheesy. Now I can show you a trick. There's something you can do. It's kind of cool. What you can do, you don't have to quench this, you don't have to air cool it. Set it right on top, like that. What we're going to do next, we're going over to the press. Okay, you're going to use your tool steel pusher. I like to use lots of spacers. Okay, now I'm going to start, put it in the middle. Let's just squish it in there. That worked pretty nice. So, it looks pretty good. Got a lot of detail. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in and file all this back, and then we'll anneal it, and we'll bend it into a ring. If you like what you've seen here today, uh, please like our channel and give us a thumbs up.